This is Reverend Jeff Vogelsong from Touched by God Church, and uh, we're online. And uh, take, drop him and take a look, and uh, it'll change your life. Try it. Our message today is called, Our True Father is in Heaven. Father's Day. You know, Father's Day, a fun day for families to gather and honor all of our dads who have worked and sacrificed their entire lives in supporting and caring for their families. We, we do honor all of the fathers. God, but God, is truly our ultimate father. He created us, formed us, and shaped us. He did not only create us, but he also watched over us, watches over us daily. We know this by the presence of his light, shining out of the darkness, continuously illuminating our path, showing us the way. God the Father has provided us with all that we need on this imperfect planet. He has provided the air that we need to breathe and exist. He also has provided the trees to continually replenish the oxygen, the air, as all of animal life exhale carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, creating a cycle of life. He has set up an automatic system of keeping this earth and the surrounding atmosphere pure and clean, no matter what we expel or contaminate. Like our earthly father, God keeps his house clean by constantly being attentive to all of our needs and flaws. He knows that as imperfect human beings, we at times are arrogant and tend to think that we alone are the keepers of this planet, this domain. He may even chuckle in, in seeing that we have a desire to be like him, godlike, to be king of our own realm. Sounds a bit arrogant, doesn't it? All right, we have a, uh, um, have a little uh, police action out there, but we'll continue with our lesson here. We are in the Napa Valley. That's why you hear the train moving on. That is the wine train. It's a really great uh, and relaxing event and experience to take the wine train through the valley here. This is the Napa Valley. All right, let's continue on. Our Father in Heaven is kind and patient with us, understanding that we can easily lose our way, turning to the self, to the self, for answers, becoming our own Savior, relying on our own intellect and knowledge, forgetting that all of life comes from the Father. There is no one else. Well, he has provided all that we need here on earth. He created it for the beginning, uh, from the beginning, slowly, methodically, perfectly. Not a stone out of place, not a star unaccounted for. He instinctively knew when to step in to change direction. Great leaps or changes assured our existence. In order that we may be here today, he did this, and now he invites us to enjoy what he has provided. The abundance of food and water, the plentiful of resources that make our daily lives comfortable, such as gas and oil. They are gifts. Let me emphasize that. They are gifts from nature, from God, the Father. He gave us the intelligence to reason, to calculate, to formulate. He gave us the free will to understand and to be who we are, to be whom we are. To live freely without vices or tyranny. He gave us the knowledge of faith, of the realization that we were created by someone much greater. God the Father has provided so much from the beginning of time all for mankind. And he expects us to utilize all of it, to not waste it or preserve it, but use it. He put us here on earth. He put us here on earth simply because he desires our presence. He took pleasure in creating us and placing us 
in this domain. We are His children, just like we enjoy our own, our own children and provide for them. Our true Father takes great pleasure in watching over us, guiding us, and caring for us. He is the ultimate, He is the ultimate, He is the Father that knows best, our Father in Heaven. All right, we're going to stop right there, and, um, and uh, I want to say thanks for dropping in. This is Reverend Jess Vogelsong from Touch by God Church Online, Touch by God Church Ministries uh, Online on Facebook. Drop in, take a look. God's best is for you today.